the bedroll was gone. So I was like, oh, that's a bad sign. And then once I entered this house, zombies started spawning. And I was like, oh no, um, yeah, something's really wrong. That shouldn't happen, right? Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called Seven Days to Die. We are at Alpha 19 Experimental and Build 178 just came out a couple of days ago and it actually made me remember that I was supposed to create a video talking about that one annoying thing that happens during experimental builds when they include a POI resets and I know that it's experimental we should expect it but still you know it's just something that's kind of a bit a little bit depressing when it happens and so here's the deal here, here's the deal when that sort of things happen the POI resets are included in the build all your hard or earned loot all your items inside the POI will most probably be gone will most probably be gone and if you made that POI to be your horde knight base for example you created a lot of structures within it or even you know right outside of it that serves as your horde knight base most probably that would be gone so yeah that's basically what I wanted to share with everyone now it's actually hard to share the proof with you because uh, there's no way for me to restore the previous setup and the previous items inside the house and then you know kind of manually i don't know how to manually drop or install the previous build to a 163 which contained the poi reset so there's really no way um concrete way for me to show what happened but i uh, still i could show you uh this base that i had before and this is after build 163 so you can see on the top right we're already at we're already at build 178 but since build 163 i didn't really touch this save game anymore I only use this right now on this video to show you what I mean about how what happened during a POI reset. So if you notice, the POI reset, but I've upgraded this to concrete blocks, reinforced concrete, and the reset didn't actually touch this one. But the thing was, so when, once I logged in, I went inside the house and I, not I noticed that my bedroll symbol on the uh, top bar, uh, you can see that on the uh, above the day and time, the bedroll was gone. So I was like, oh, that's a bad sign. And then once I entered this house, zombies started spawning. And I was like, oh no, um, yeah, something's really wrong. That shouldn't happen, right? And sure enough, after I dealt with the zombies, I went here, all my food, the storage box for the food's gone. Campfire has been replaced again by the original, I don't know what this is, this is a, uh, I guess their own version of campfire or something. But the campfire that we, we use or we craft is gone and Everything here has been cleaned before by me. I removed all of this chairs. Now it's back. Uh, and then all of this garbage are gone. They're back. And yeah, for sure, this uh, loot bag here. I've cleared this before and now it's back. So then upstairs, although I knew that, uh, I knew already what happening I was like I was still hoping that 
maybe you know it my uh my storage boxes here are spared but nope so as you can see everything's gone i had like 10 storage boxes here i think or eight and then two here and then i had another storage box here i had a cement mixer here i had a workbench here and then a chemistry station here and then i had mushrooms planted here and then again another weird thing is all of them are gone but my forges remained intact and one of them still even crafting or yeah running so when i logged off it was running and then i logged back in after the uh, the, the uh, build 163 drop and sure enough it's still running so um and yeah as for the farms i actually built farm plots top of the house um the half the other half of my farm plots were here and now they're all gone replaced by the original roof but for some reason these ones are not reset or replaced they're still here so yeah it's really weird um what happens during a poi reset but as i've said that's a lesson learned for me so another thing that i wanted to show you is i had an underground system here that I started I actually dug all the way down to the bedrock but now as you can see it this was here and now it's all gone I didn't bother trying to dig all the way down to the bedrock again this time because even if you know it was still there I didn't have much of you know any items there anyway so plus yeah most of my items were here upstairs so uh, it looks like if it does reset something it will reset it all the way down to the bedrock so if you have a bedrock and uh, or if you have an underground base underneath a poi yeah chances are it will also be affected so another thing to keep in mind so yeah there you have it um i really don't know what how else to uh to show you the uh the effects of the poi reset besides these but let me know um have you guys encountered this too um has any one of you actually maybe found a way to restore all of your stuff that was affected by the reset most probably uh not but who knows right maybe someone out there figure it out and i would be interested or we would be interested to know how you uh restored everything so that's it for this video and as always stay safe thank you for watching this is kenra signing off